What's going on guys? This is Big D518 and I'm here with a special not really big news or anything like that, but everyone's probably already heard. A uh, little update on CM Punk signing with the Ultimate Fighting Championship League. I don't even know if it's considered a league necessarily. But if you guys do enjoy this video, please don't forget to show your love down below with that like button to let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great Pokemon, video game, and soon to be rants like this videos. So yeah, this deal was struck yesterday on the 6th. Uh, CM Punk sent out a Vine uh, telling everybody to wait for his debut in 2015 in the Octagon. I think it's great. He's always shown a passion for, you know, jujitsu and the martial arts, and you can tell how he wrestles in the ring. He uses the same craft. I'm just curious what uh, what weight class he's going to be in. I mean, he's 6'2", 218, if I remember his wrestling stats. I don't know if he's going to bulk up, if he's going to, like, lower in weight. I don't know. Uh, but there was a poll that actually went out between who would you want to see more in the UFC and the Octagon, which it would be either CM Punk or Brock Lesnar. And about 70, over 70% 70 said CM Punk. Nothing against Brock Lesnar, but, I mean, I guess UFC really hasn't had a pure, you know, dominant heavyweight since Brock Lesnar. But seeing Brock Lesnar back in... Uh, WWE as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, or the Undisputed Champion, as a lot of people are saying. Uh, it's It would kind of be a little weird not or seeing him back in the octagon with unscripted fighting where CM Punk hasn't been on TV in well over half the year. And I think it's great that he's going to be in there. I don't know who his first opponent would be, but I think it would be you know very, very interesting. Uh, considering how everything went down with Punk and the WWE in the first place uh, with I, I don't remember the exact report uh, you guys can correct me uh, but with uh, I guess Punk was working hurt didn't want anything to do or didn't want to like wrestle a few times but he was forced to because of the fan base I don't know you guys correct me down in the uh, in the comment section if any of that is true or if I have any of it false. Uh, but they had this big falling out. Uh, CM Punk pretty much, I don't remember if he got fired or if he quit on his own accord, but that's apples and oranges. That's whatever. That's not here to say anymore. Uh, so I, th like I said, I think it's great. I think even at the age of 36, if I remember his age correctly, I think even him being in uh, UFC will be very like a, a fresh change for him as long as he's healthy if he has any like lingering injuries I've hoped they've healed and I hope they fully heal by the time 2015 rolls around when he's gonna have his first fight I think it would be interesting now this is just me saying this if he has his first fight somewhere around Wrestlemania time in March I think that would be hilarious if he actually does that not that he'll plan it that way, but if UFC has an event that happens around that time, maybe a week before, maybe a week after, it would be even more hilarious if it was the day of, although I think they do theirs on Saturdays. I could be wrong. I don't. I haven't watched too many UFCs recently uh, since a certain, uh, a certain UFC fighter broke his leg. Ugh. I don't even want to go into that, but... Again, yes, I do definitely see a lot of potential in CM Punk being a UFC champion coming up, so that way we can have, uh, we can say that a former WWE wrestler was a UFC champion other than Brock Lesnar. I think it would be great. I don't know what AJ thinks about it, but hopefully AJ is not going to be getting any backlash from any of the past uh, CM Punk uh, backlash, I guess I could just say. Uh, from him leaving the company the way that he did uh, because she's a very talented wrestler she's great on the mic and if they do anything to damage her it is going to be really really stupid of the WWE to do because she does not deserve that she is there primarily 
to, you know, save the women's division, as she said about a year or so ago, or earlier this year. I forget which which one it is. I think it was this year. She is the reason that the women's division is even relevant right now. I mean, yeah, you got the Bellas, you got Paige, uh, but, I mean, she she's the only one that can really talk. Paige, you can barely understand because of her thick accent. The Bellas are total divas. No pun intended. And... I mean, Alicia Fox, Oksana, if she's even still there. I don't think she's there anymore. I'm probably dating a reference there. Uh, Rosa Mendez is now with Fondango. Or the new and improved uh, dancing Fondango. Mexican hat dance, but whatever. Uh, but overall, like I said, I think CM Punk being in UFC is a fantastic idea. I hope he thrives on it. And I really, really hope that He's making the right decision. In the future, who's to say he won't come back to WWE? Never say never. A lot of people have said that before. Uh, Bret Hart once said that he'll never come back to WWE. He came back after a 14-year hiatus. Brock Lesnar said that he wouldn't come back. He came back. So, you can't rule these people out. So, I wish CM Punk best of luck. Even if he never watches this, if anybody ever wants to link him this video, or if anybody's already linked this video to him, more power to you. But I definitely wish him luck, and I hope to God that he proves any naysayer that would ever think that he wouldn't be able to compete in the UFC. And I hope he wins the title. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this video at this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to start making this a new series, uh, ranting about wrestling, because wrestling has been one of my favorite sports entertainment, or as I like to call it, the male soap opera, uh, since I was like five or six. So it's been well over 20, 22 years since I've been a wrestling fan. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I will see you guys uh, very soon. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, this has been Big D 518 and as I always say at the end of my videos, take it easy.